Mr. Bean, I'm sad to say that you are going to be in the way. Can I get you out of here without killing you? No, I can't. All right. Sorry, Mr. Bean. This guy gets stuck way too damn easy. I'm not in the habit of killing Mr. Beans. I don't enjoy it. It's not something I take pleasure in. But the motherfucker's in the way and he's got to go. Did I not just kill you? Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG. In this episode, we're going to finish up our build here of our starter factory. Uh, our goal today is to route all of our outgoing product uh, out of the factory and over to storage, which we are going to set up over here. So we are on our, our second floor where we're making our copper and cotarium products. And so what we're going to do is come over to here. Uh, this no longer needs to be red, by the way, so we'll just set that back to normal concrete. And let's start by getting this floor hole in place. This is our sushi belt with all of our assembler products. And we'll just bring that. Uh, let's have that face this direction, I think. Okay, that's currently loaded with AI limiters, but it'll have rotors and modular frames. Smart plates and that sort of thing also on it. Oh, speaking of smart plating, I went ahead and routed the smart plating for the time being right to the space elevator because we need to accumulate a thousand of those. Uh, oh, that's not supposed to be there. I, was, I set that down briefly to, to look at a recipe and I forgot to pick it back up. Uh, so yeah, I actually have the smart plating being routed up here and I'm just going to put a conveyor hole there too so that we can get uh you know get going on the space elevator if you look in the upper right hand corner of my screen you can see that we've already loaded 93 of a thousand of those smart plates there goes another one right there up into the space elevator and um we'll keep we'll just keep that hooked up to the space elevator until it, it gets to 1000 and then when that happens then we will just reroute the smart plating back down to our storage now i pretty fairly sure could be wrong about this but we might need smart plating for one more higher level space elevator item later um i have to have to check into that and if i'm wrong about that then we'll just take whatever we accumulate and throw it in the sink and get some points for it okay let's go back over here now and what we're gonna do is we're going to put some floor holes here. So we got we want one here, one there, one there, and one there. Because we have four products coming off of this floor to go down to storage. And that's these four products that are sitting on this bus right here. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to set up some lifts in a stair-step fashion. Uh, starting with copper and I think we'll go ahead and line that up with the center of this uh, foundation here just making sure that's the right direction okay and then we want to make sure the inputs on that side and then we're gonna just basically do this in a stair step fashion except for that's over this way too far. I think I'll just keep those other ones in place till I get them all down. There we go. Okay, and then we'll remove all of these. That one as well. And then all of these belts are gonna have to be rerun. Thank you. 
Let's look at that from over here. Yep, that looks good. Okay. Now let's put uh, supports underneath these for aesthetic reasons. Uh, that needs to go here. No, that actually needs to go here. <laughs> I was way off on that one. Goodness. That should uh, do the trick there. These are no longer needed. Let's get rid of them. Now we grab lifts and we take them all the way up to the ceiling. Um, except for that's going to clip into there. So I guess the way we should deal with that is put some hangers on the ceiling, connect the lifts to the hangers and bring them down to the splitters rather than the other way around. I think that's the solution there. So, uh, if we hold this out to here and put the hanger there, yeah, that'll work. We need to make sure it's going that direction. All right, did I... Oh, that's the problem. Now we're cooking with gas. Okay, let's bring this around back to here where we had it before. And we want to bring it to this... Let's see... Yeah, we should be able to bring it along this seam here. And one more that way. And then plug into you. Okay, I must have put that one going in the wrong direction. Or I didn't have it held all the way up to the ceiling. That's what the problem was. Right? We're going to do weird stuff there, so I'm just going to get out of straight mode and go into normal mode. And there's our copper wire coming down. There. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to put another lift in here, but this one's going to face this direction. And we're going to run a belt in straight mode. to here and then go back to well actually that might just reach automatically so used to doing this the old way you know so if we run it along here and then into there nope it doesn't quite work okay well it was worth a try And that should get quick wire coming down here. Uh, quick wire. There you are. Okay. I'm gonna put another lift here. Um, also facing that direction. And we'll hook into you. And once again, you don't want to... Oh. Yeah, you know what? I mm, I might need to... I think I need to hold the copper belt over further. Does it need to go that far over, though? No. I, it. Mm, we should be able to get away with just one notch over like there so let's do this one too let's see how that works okay you go to there and then into there not in straight mode You come over here, 
and go into there in straight mode. And then you come over here and go. Yep, still doesn't want to go in of its own accord. It's just a little too long, is why. Yeah, that's that's good. Everything's nice and evenly spaced. I'm liking it. And we should see cable, which we do. Huzzah! All right, let's put this guy in. We're going to turn this one this way. And connect to you. All right, you don't want to just go right in there. Probably because you're too long. Okay, let me get over here. I want you to go there. And then into there. And that'll be our sheeting. There we go. And that's it. We have everything connected on the first... Uh, on the top floors. We got our sushi belt here, and we got all of our copper and Katerian product there. Let's go down. Let's go down below. We'll change this uh, back to normal concrete here. And we want to put you there. You there. You there, and you there, and then we run everything down. Now, I think I'll have these guys facing this direction. These two will face this direction. And there's our product. Looking good. We need to do two more, one for rods and one for iron plates. And remember our screws are coming down here because um, there isn't, let's look at this. Let me go down below for a minute. If we, Tried to route the screws that way. We can't put it in the middle here because there will be no lateral way for it to go out without dropping down, and I don't want to drop down. I want to keep everything nice and hugged up against the bottom of the uh, of the ceiling or the bottom of the floor uh, because it'll look nicer. The other thing that I don't like about putting the screws here is because this is really the the intake lines and these are the outtake lines. So it might look a little odd having one intake line on all the outtake lines. But we could maybe make it work. Let's just play with the idea for a second. Okay, so this one's obviously going to have to go this way. That one's going to have to go that way. That one can go this way. That one can go that way. That one could go that way, or this way. That one goes that way. This one's going to go this way. And this belt's going to route all the way down to there. Let's just send that down there now. This belt's going to come over here we bring it back to here and then over to here uh, yeah okay let's do that this belt's gonna come to Let's just put a hanger there. Uh, 
Oh, you don't like that, do you? Okay. That's what it was trying to do on its own. And then this one we'll put here. Okay. Now you... What's the matter? Conveyor belt is too steep. What the hell does that mean? Okay, we have to take it out of straight mode because it's acting weird. Alright, one thing that I see as a problem here is I can't... We're going to have too wide of a gap. I want those, the gaps in between each belt to be even. Uh, so, does that mean I can... Put you here, but I think even one more out because I'm going to do this with you and this with you. Bring, pull that one back. Now let's try this again. We go to you. Oh. Hold on. So, okay. So, th that's the straight run there. Let's just do the straight runs first. Then we'll worry about the curves later. So I'm not trying to walk and chew conveyor belts at the same time. So that's just the natural gap between those two if I run them as is. I don't think I can get this one close enough to them and maintain that same gap. Because this one wants to go there. Hmm. Just trying to think of how I did that before. I mean, I could, I could try and nudge this one over a little bit. Then I would have to do that with this one as well. All right, let's explore that possibility. So if we put a belt in here, but then turned it this way, yeah, that, I think that would probably be okay. It doesn't look terrible. I think that's, yeah, I think that'll be okay. All right, so we'll just bring you down to here. Again, like I said, I'll worry about the curves after we get all the long long ones run. Alright, so we're going to need to do something similar for this. If we put you there, and then... Oh, yeah, well, no, we should be able to just do this and be good. Right, okay. I'm not worried about this one being at the same gap because it's actually going to be going on the other side of, you know, the pillar anyway. Uh, I'll, I'll fix that jank later. All right, so now you will come out here to here. And no, I've got to bring you out further. that look still too close okay let's just bring you to there that looks good and then run you down that way 
So if we route the screws out here, then it would come out the back this way. Further out. Oh no, this isn't the screws. These are the rods and the plates. Too far. Okay, run you down there. Make sure everything's staying straight. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's going to work down here. The question I guess I need to ask myself, though, is... Do I want the screws running down the same column as the inputs? And I'm not sure about that. I guess we set it up that way and we look at it and then make that determination. Uh, wait a second. What the hell am I doing here? Okay, first of all, you need to go out one more. And then you're crooked. And that one is... Is that right? I, th I think that's right, yeah. It is really easy to get these things crooked, so... I can't really pay attention. Okay. So yeah, that works fine for down here. And... Since we're down here, let's just finish these out. So that's as far as this one will go. So I think that's going to be our line that everything else will converge on. Just so everything's nice and lined up. Now, let's cut, um, actually, all of these belts and all of these for the moment. But we do want these here, because this is where our outputs are going to be. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... I think we're ultimately going to want eight. Okay, now we'll run you back down to here. I think that's all looking pretty damn good. Okay. Now, what we'll do is we'll grab this belt to make sure we're in straight mode, and we'll just do this. Oh, that isn't going to work. Uh, okay, so yeah, we're going to have to... We'll see. One, two, one, two back, and then here. Okay, and then this one will go there, or yeah, I think so. All 
right, now we kind of have a bit of a pattern here. That's right. So we're basically going one, two, three, and then uh, one, two, three. Yeah, okay. Right, so one, two, three, and one, two, three. One, here. Sometimes that looks crooked. One, two, three, one, two, three. Ah, that one is... Too far, uh, wait, why the hell is that happening? Oh, yeah, it is, it needs to come back this way. That's one of the nice things about having the straight mode on the belts is it'll tell you, you know, if, if you're off on something like that. So that's very useful. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three. And that hooks up all of those belts. Now remember, we also have uh, ingots that are gonna be coming out down here that we have to set up. Um, and then we have, to, we have to factor those in, and ultimately we have to factor in um, quartz crystal, silica, and gunpowder when we get those things set up. But we're not gonna worry about that today. But that's what, that's what these, okay, so I'm going to sushi the ingots, I think. Because the ing ingot overage that we have is pretty small. So I think we can get away with that. So that will be for the ingots. That will be for, we'll say quartz crystal, that can be for silica. And that can be for gunpowder, or black powder, more specifically, when we start making it. So we'll just leave those hangers there. Very good. Let's go ahead, since we're down here again, um, or still, rather, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that. We're going to have to hook up the screws up above now, so we don't even need that floor hole there. And we just want to run these guys. Oh, no, I had that going the wrong way. Try that again. This needs to be going... That one's correct. That one is not, so reverse it. Okay, so let's just run these lines down this way. run this one back um, but if, uh, it's gonna be going there wrong can I reverse that with R huh I can't okay so the way to handle that is we just put a temporary hanger here that so that way we make sure our belt oh shit that's not what I want to do make sure our belt is going the right direction since we're running it backwards okay uh, all right so now I think I want to actually hold this back to there. Now, can I get a merger to connect onto there? I can. Okay. Uh, uh, I 
think though I want that merger lined up with this belt here. Which means we gotta bring this back. There we go. Oh, nope, that's still not far enough back. I had to go one more. Silly me. Now it should work. Okay, you can go into there. If we take you out of straight mode, ah, oh, shoot. Yeah, that's a problem, isn't it? Oh, yeah, we can easily do this. Okay, so that means we want you to go one, two this way, and you to go one that way. Get rid of these guys. And that should give us enough width to connect everything up the way we want to down below. Um, we'll run uh, the ingots, Kateri ingots down here later. Now we should be able to run you right into there. You should run right into there. And if we put you in that mode, you'll curve yourself right around into there for us, nice and neat like. Okay, I think we've completed everything we need to do down underneath the factory. Of course, we're gonna have a lot of work to do out there, but let's finish all the stuff up above now. Oh, by the way, I moved um, Doug the Doggo over here, and he found me another, like, what was it? Nine more turbo motors. Guy's crazy. He's an animal. And I mean that in a good way. <laughs> and in a literal way. <laughs> so, let's, let's go say hi to Doug and see if he's got anything else good for us. This is going to be kind of his little spot over here where he lives. It's nice and forested, and he likes it over here. Uh, Doug? Where are you, buddy? This is where I left him last. I need a Doug tracker. Hmm. Where'd you go, Doug? Oh, well, there he is. He's on the concrete. Maybe he liked concrete better than foliage. I don't know. Dude, come here. Oh, wow, look at that. Eight heavy modular frames. That's pretty reasonably good stuff, too. Thanks, man. Go play in the grass. Don't play on the concrete. I mean, if you want to, you can. I'm not judging you, but I would think you'd like to be in the lush forest. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Nice. We got some modular frames. Heavy modular frames, to be precise. So we'll just stick that in there, and we'll we'll probably throw those and the turbo engines back in the uh, the awesome shop again to get our sink to get some more points. Let's get our iron hooked up. Uh, well, no, yeah, we got to do the iron, and we we also need to run the screws to the bus now too. We could, um, yeah. There's not really any, any point in running the screws to the bus. We'll just run the screws. Uh, we will run them up to the ceiling and and down and over, just because that's kind of our M.O. here. So, let's see. You need to be going that direction. Wait a second. Why are you not reversing? Oh, you know what I did? Oh, son of a bitch. I have them hooked up down below as inputs, not outputs. <laughs> All right. Damn it, Jim! Let me go fix it. It won't be too bad because we have all the hangers in place. I just have to replace the belts and the lifts. Well, wait a minute, though. No, that is not correct because... Oh, it is correct. It's not correct for the, the copper, but it's... Cause, and the way you can tell that is the underneath side of the belt moves in the opposite direction. Right? So, 
all of these belts are moving that way. We sh they should be moving this way like the these belts are. So we actually connected all of these correctly. It's just these last three that are screwed up. Okay, that's not going to be too hard to fix. Okay, every one of these belts should be underneath flowing to the east. Let's just double check that. And they are. Okay. All right, like I said, that wasn't too hard to fix. Bonk. Now we should be able to put these in. And look at that. They are going the right direction. So the only thing that's going to be inconsistent here, and it may not in the long run be a big deal, but all of these guys are going to be traveling up, where I, whereas this one's coming down. We're going to we're going to run with it. And if I really 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 don't like it, I'll fix it later. Um we have a wire clipping problem here. So we're going to fix that. Okay. So screws should be now lemon squeezy. We just run these guys up to the roof, point them this way. Oh, wait, do we want to point that way? Don't tell me that's going to line up. Is that going to line up? No, it's not going to quite line up. Um, we might... They're close enough, though. Let's just see what it does. That's not bad. We can we can live with that. Except for that I think I would rather have this side be straight and then the curve over here just so it matches with the other belts. Um that looks like that might work if we do this. Nope, it's a little too close. So we'll move this hanger back this way. There. That doesn't look terrible. Excelente. Okay, so that takes care of the screws. We just need to connect um, the, the plates and the rods. And I think we'll just run right along this seam here and then curve over. right smack dab where the lifts are. Um, I, can we, can we put a, a splitter over these lifts and have it work? Let's, let's just see what happens. It did split that one. Uh, it did not split that one. Oh, no, that splits based upon the on the riser, not the splitter. That should work, I would think. Then we just need to pop that little one into there. Like I said, we will find out here momentarily. Uh, let's get some support underneath these guys, too, while I'm thinking about it. We don't need no stinking floating splitters. Uh, you go there. We do not need you. Thank you for your service. Now get out of here. Okay. We're going to need to do the same thingy that we did up above where we're going to have to run hangers. Here and like there. Well, 
Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, that's this one. Okay. I was going to say, something doesn't quite look right there. And I also have that going the wrong way, too. That other one. So we have to redo it anyway. Okay, so that should... Okay, that got... That didn't work. It's probably because... Okay. Let's just remove this then. Maybe that pole is interfering with that. And that that way. Go there. Um, we need to go over one too. There. We'll reset these belts. Now do we have plates going up there? Uh, do we have any plates, actually? Where? Oh, what the hell, man? Where's all of our plates? Oh, they're just being utilized. Okay, we got another little batch coming there. Um, now here's the other nice thing, too, about all of this, is that I have room to expand these. Uh, I mean, I know we do want to put you know, the sulfur and quartz, but that's that's really only three constructors. So we could we could expand the plates a little bit if it if I'm a little too light on those. Which I'm starting to think maybe I am. I don't have my satisfactory tools up. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave it this way for now, and if I find myself running out of plates a lot, then we may end up expanding things over here. I have a little I have a little bit more iron ingots to play with. I think I have 30. Yeah, I have 30 extra ingots that I could utilize. So when we set up our quartz and sulfur, we'll, we'll hold it back, you know, back here so we leave ourselves a little room to expand the plates if we need to we'll see how it goes though it all just kind of depends upon how much time it has to accumulate um you know versus uh, the consumption how you know how, how quickly i'm using them plus we have a metric butt ton of plates you know that we made over in the starter area to get us by for quite some time before we even have to worry about it anyway i think we're good to go there over to here okay so yeah do that and then go in there uh no 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 we want you to go into this one because it's on the inside And this one will go here. And we have three staggered ceiling hangers all spaced evenly, so that looks okay. I don't think we need to worry about lining those up. Okay, and that brings rods, and we should see some plates coming down there in a second. We may not have any on the lift yet. I guess all the plates are currently being consumed. All right, let's go down and take a look, see, because I'm starting to suspect that we're not, something's not working right here. And I'm already seeing a problem. <laughs> I think this is the problem. Oh my God. Wow, we had three of our machines not working. Uh-huh. That would explain it. Yes, it would. And, uh, well, no. God. We had six of our machines not working. 
What is wrong with me? Don't answer that question. Okay. <laughs> that completely explains it. Well, there you go. Troubleshooting 101 for satisfactory. Don't be a noob and forget to hook your belts up. Learn from my mistakes, ladies and gentlemen, because I make plenty of them. Trust me. Ask my wife. Uh, what were we doing? We I think we got everything hooked up up here, and I believe all that's left is... Yeah, we, we probably won't see anything coming down here until those buffers up above fill, and then it'll overflow and start sending it. But I think it's working now. Pretty sure that it is. We could actually test... I just want to test all these connections really quickly by switching this to any, and it should send... Yeah, there we go. Well, let's just make sure that those plates get all the way through. They should, but you never know. Especially when I'm involved. <laughs> Especially when my satisfactory is involved. There we go. Okay, so we know that's all working. Good. Okay, so we'll set you back to overflow. I think the final thing to do up here is just get our ingots routed down. Uh, let's go up to the copper caterium floor. I'm trying to think of why those why I cut those belts. Don't I don't know. I don't know why I did that. I can't explain it, man. All I can do is fix my mistakes. I can't prevent myself from making them. I mean I can try. <laughs> I can try and learn from them, but some some things just Never change, right? Okay, anyway. Let's go ahead and come over here. Oh, those are already hooked up. Okay, so we're good to go here. <coughs> Kazoom tight, excuse me. Okay. You know what, though? Um, I think we're going to want to move this over. Let me look at something. Yeah, we changed the spacing on those. So I think I'll do the same thing here by simply moving this over one. So that way our belt widths from top to bottom match. Okay. All right, now, what we want to do is let's put lifts in here. Uh, oh, yeah. We're not going to be able to do that, are we? Um, okay, so I think we're going to have to... I really don't like that being outside of the, the plane of our... Our pole there. So that's probably about the highest we can afford to go with this. You know, with this outer one here anyway. So we might as well make both of them the same. Except for I just didn't do that, did I? Okay. Uh, then what we're going to do is... Are we going to clear these mach these constructors? Yes, we are. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So, now what we'll do is we're going to run you down to here. And I'm going to have to move that cable up there. I think those are the right height, maybe. Uh, okay, that's going to be a pain in the ass. We're going to have to make sure 
that this stays in between the belts as well. And that's also a problem because now it's in the light. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's just I thought it would would have looked nicer if they could have ran, you know, side by side. But it is what it is. See, that works pretty good. Sticks out kind of far that way, but when the time comes for us to do whatever the hell I'm going to do, I don't even know, cosmetics-wise, if that's in the way, we have other options. It'll just be a little more comp complicated. Like, you know, we could, we could run it this way and then cut it sharp here and run it along here, but... I don't know that that really gains us a whole lot. So we're going to leave it this way for now. We do need to fix that problem, though. There we go. Okay, that fixes that. I think everything's hooked up. I do believe that it is. Let's go down below. Yep. Those all have iron, catarium, and copper. This should have... Well, that only has iron at the moment because we didn't have the other two added to the line, so it's currently full of iron, but it'll sushi up once we get things moving. All right, that takes care of part one of this episode. <laughs> Uh, now what we need to do is do the second part, then that's getting everything hooked up this way. So let's get up on uh, our little conveyor road there. Mr. Bean, I'm sad to say that you are going to be in the way. Can I get you out of here without killing you? No, I can't. All right. Sorry, Mr. Bean. This guy gets stuck way too damn easy. I'm not in the habit of killing Mr. Beans. I don't enjoy it. It's not something I take pleasure in. But the motherfucker's in the way and he's got to go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, anyway. Oh, God damn it. Did I not just kill you? What in the hell? Now, would you please stay dead? I'm watching you. I'm not going to take my eyes off you. There, he disappeared. I don't trust him. Okay, anyway, back to this. Uh, where, where are we going? We're going over here. Okay, so that's our sush belt. Um, we do need to run concrete over here, too. Uh, let's go ahead and do that first, and then we'll... Then we'll get going on the storage. Hey, Doug. Come over to the to the grass. What you got, buddy? Oh, thanks, man. I'm hungry. I need a snack. Okay, so I've got... I started this concrete belt here, but... I was looking at this earlier, and because of the way that I had to reroute the coal belt, I think what I'm going to actually do is run this underneath. No, uh -oh. is this going to be a problem? Oh, no, I don't think so. I think we'll be okay. All right, we're going to just run you right to. Uh, there. I mean, 
Yeah, that's... That's damn close, but I think it's okay. Don't think I'm going to lose any sleep over that. Okay, let's send it as far down that way as it'll go. Uh, that... Oh, man. That is just really hugging that corner, isn't it? Yeah, that's... That's a bit much. I mean, again, game doesn't give a shit, right? But... And I like... You know, I like these braces. I don't... I, I just like the look of them. So... I think we are going to need to move this out... to the edge. You got something, buddy? Nope, not yet. Okay. That's better. That is better. So I'm just going to eyeball this merger right on that seam there. And that should have split the line, so we should be okay. Then we'll run a lift down here. And I think that's going to be the right height. Yeah, that looks good. So we're adding concrete to our sushi line of uh, assembler products because of the fact that uh, that's all going to go into the same storage blue uh, unit, blueprint unit that I'm going to set up. Just the way it planned out. Now, what we're going to do next is... I want to look at something over here. Let's zoop this foundation to there. And that's going to be as far to the east as we're going to go. I'd like to preserve this vegetation here just because it looks nice. Keep some greenery in the desert, you know, that kind of thing. So we will not go any further that way than this pad here. Um, I'm not entirely sure yet how far to the south we need to go. So, I'm going to... No, is that seven? Yeah, that's seven. Okay. I'm going to kind of guesstimate this. Okay, so our... our th we have three more lifts there. So let's go one more foundation. Well, yeah. Let's just go ahead and go all the way to the edge of this one. Uh, so that flower will kind of be our boundary marker. For the time being, anyways. Okay, good. Over here, we now want to grab a storage blueprint. Let's go into our blueprints and go to storage. And we want uh, six storage bins with smart splitters uh, on, I think, on the right. That right meaning the, ent the entry point. as we are looking at the storage. And that is correct because there's the entry point right there. Okay. Now, I want to move that to there. And let's move this over one so we have one uh, foundations, you know, uh, as a causeway there. Uh, 
and let's set that in place. Okay, so now looking at this, I might need to move that belt over. Or I need to move this over. But the thing is, is we start getting into these rocks over here. And we'll, you know, it'll clip into our, our little patio here and it will look like shit. So we might need to, I think we're going to need to slide this whole thing over to where the edge of this is in the center of this tile to get everything to fit. So let's redo this. Okay, is that lined up? I, uh, yeah, it is. Nice. Okay. So now it's just a matter of figuring out what the right height of this one is going to be. Um, if we run up to here. I'm going to guess there, and if that's not right, we'll adjust. Oh, no, it's not lined up right. Okay. Okay, there's two ways we could handle this. I could either move this belt over that way. I can move the storage over that way. Or I could force scrunch that lift into the splitter. The easiest thing to do... I don't really want to go any further that direction. I was kind of wanting to keep a full foundation walkway there. How difficult would it be for us to move this belt over? It would not... Well, okay, so... We can't do that without having to do another one of these little jobs here, which we could do. We could turn this facing that way and then wrap over, but... I still don't know if we're going to get a full 90 degree turn if we do it like that. The other thing I don't like about that idea is that I'd like there to be a space between the belt and the stairs on this side. And right now that spacing is even. So for that reason, I'm not inclined to move this belt here. So that means we have two options. We either slide that another notch that way which gives us even less room on that side or we force this we scrunch this belt into here so I'm think I'm favoring the scrunch the belt method or scrunch the lift method rather so to do that what we're gonna have to do is let's pick this up let's temporarily put that uh, foundation there because I want to go I think I knew we need to go to here I cannot tell if that's level from down here why does that look like it has a bend in it It's straight, but it's not level. We need to put a one meter foundation down here and raise this up. Right about here. I don't think we're gonna need those two. That looks right. Yeah. OK, 
Okay, we're straight. And we're level. Beautiful. Now, if we take a lift and we start it up here, we force it into here. Except for it's not lined up right. Finally. Man, what a bunch of screwing around, eh? But we got it done right. Got it done right. Might help, though, if I use a Mark III lift. What do you guys think? There we go. Okay. So. Now we need to do our assignments. Let's make you concrete. Because we're going to be using concrete a lot more than any of the rest of the things we're putting in here. And then anything else other than concrete can go up the center. Now, I heard something about a bug. One of you guys mentioned this in the comments uh, about the, the latest update where there was some kind of issue with splitters. And I don't remember if the patch they introduced fixed it. But we, we had this problem in update 8 too where if this was set to any, then it would also sometimes pass concrete through the center. And the way to prevent that from happening is to set this to overflow. And then that theoretically, I mean, if things still work exactly the way they did in update eight, that will prevent concrete from, from going out the center and everything else will be simply treated as overflow. So I'm gonna set it up that way all right, let's see. We got, what's the next most commonly used item? I think it's going to be reinforced plate. So we'll set this one uh, to reinforced plate and set this to overflow. And this should start filling up with reinforced as soon as some comes down the line. Oh, it's jammed though because, uh, all right, here, let's do this. It has no place to go, so everything is jamming everything else up. Yep, I just saw a plate go in there. Beautiful. Okay, nice. Uh, rotors will probably be the next thing we're going to use the most frequently. So we'll set this to rotors and this to overflow. And we got rotors. Excellent. Then we'll do modular frames. overflow and we should see a frame pop in there any moment yep there we go okay beautiful uh, let's have you be AI limiters and then overflow and there we go and the last will be just our storage for smart plating um, until I figure out if I need them for pretty I'm pretty sure we're gonna need these as an intermediate product for a, a higher level um, elevator face space elevator face and like I said if that is not the case then we'll just accumulate them for now and we'll throw them in the sink later and we have moving product look at that Fan friggin' tastic. I think I'm just gonna actually leave this here for now, but I'll take the Lutskis out of it. Okay, let's do the, the next lines. So we're gonna grab another uh, set of smart splitter storage, except for these ones are gonna have the. I gotta do this differently, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> 